Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm showing you how to use the new Libra iOS jailbreak toolkit released by uh, Morpheus. So this was published yesterday and he posted this tweet here with a link to where you can download the jailbreak and uh, it works for all iOS 11 devices uh, up until 11.1.2 so obviously it's because it's using the Ian Beer exploit and this is essentially the closest we've got so far to a full public iOS 11 jailbreak so this will give you uh, jailbreak functionality apart from Cydia and Cydia Substrate so other than that the jailbreak is essentially done so all we're really waiting for right now is for Soric to actually update Cydia and Cydia Substrate to support iOS 11 and then uh, tweaking and everything like that will be possible on iOS 11. So this, uh, if you want to try this out now, then obviously you can, but um, if you want, if you only want the jailbreak specifically for tweaks, then I would wait for a newer version of this to be released personally, because this currently does not support tweaks. But um, anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to use it. So this link here will take you to the page where you can download the jailbreak IPA and you can also read some information about it, uh, but you just want to click this button here to download the IPA and you'll be given this Libra, Libra iOS IPA, which you will then install with Cydia Impactor. So now you just want to launch the app and you'll see a very simple UI with a white screen and a few labels giving you some information. And in the middle of the screen, you'll see a button that says do it. So you just want to tap that and uh, it will be indented for about 20 seconds while it's uh, implying the jailbreak. And then once that's done, you should get presented with a new screen that looks like this. And this will tell you that the jailbreak was finished. You now have SSH access and it tells you it's installed a custom bin pack to slash JB. Uh, so from this point, you can use this to SSH into the device and play around with any binaries and command line utilities you'd want to. So we're going to do an example of this right now on the, my Mac here. I've got the terminal open. So we're going to type SSH root at the IP address of my iPhone 10. Uh, so you can find the IP address in the settings app and then you want to enter. And uh, the first time you do this, it's going to ask you to verify the signature, so just type yes, and then it will ask you for the password. By default, that will be Alpine, so A-L-P-I-N-E, -E. and there we are logged in as root on the device. So you'll get this uh, information here from Jonathan Levin himself, telling you guys about some different things about this jailbreak, and uh, it actually mentions the, jab uh, the JB path where you get the bin pack so in JB user bin are all the custom ARM64 compiled uh, binaries for iOS 11 so these essentially are the standard command line utilities but compiled for ARM64 and signed with JTool so that they all work on iOS 11 so we obviously want to go to this directory so we can actually use these so I'm just going to type cd JB slash user bin and from here we can run any of these uh, commands so we'll just start by proving this is iOS 11 and it's on an iPhone 10 so we're going to type dot slash uname dash a do the dot slash obviously to make sure we're running it from this directory and not from the actual user bin and uh, you can see that that prints out the kernel information so we have the 17.2.0 Darwin kernel version and with the date and time and you can see this is an iPhone 10.6 which is an iPhone 10 or an iPhone X so this is uh, essentially all the functionality you get out of this jailbreak at the moment. You can obviously test your own binaries if you work on any tools and uh, you can play around with different things through the command line, mess with things. But as I said, tweaking and Cydia is not officially supported. Now the jailbreak does actually install Cydia, but it's not uh, obviously on the home screen by default. You can simply, uh, you can see here it says, if you really want Cydia now, just for blob saving, run UI cache and kill all minus nine springboard. So from this directory, you can just type UI cache and that will take about 10 seconds. And once that's done, you actually see the Cydia icon appear on the home screen. And you can actually launch this and run it and use it, but uh, it is very limited in functionality, as you will notice. You basically can't do anything with it. Literally, the only thing that works is the Cydia UI. You can't refresh sources, you can't add new sources, you can't install any packages because no sources have been added by default. Um, and I don't even know if you can actually remove any of the packages that are installed by default, but I wouldn't recommend doing that anyway. So at the moment, Cydia is basically just uh, pointless in terms of functionality you can just basically show off that you have Cydia on your device and that's about it so we are waiting on Jay Freeman or someone else to make an iOS 11 version of Cydia as well as Cydia Substrate but uh, until then we won't be able to run any kind of tweaks or anything on the device without some other workaround so if something like that does happen uh, another workaround or when Cydia is actually updated then obviously I'll make another video showing you guys how to do that um, but that's pretty much it for this jailbreak for now. So I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to go ahead and try this out on your device right now. And uh, also I'll leave a link to Jonathan Levin's Twitter if you want to follow him for updates on this jailbreak. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more and I will see you next time.